this video is the second video how to set up the input analyzer using arena simulation but before i start uh, please subscribe to my channel as motivates me to do more videos if you have any question write to my email address uh, the first part of this video is to set the data to make the data ready so the link of this first part of input analyzer how to work on input analyzer is available in the description below so have a go at this link at this video it tells you how to set up the data using excel using stopwatch how to record the data how to calculate the data and how to make it ready in order to be inserted in the input analyzer okay so let's start i'm gonna open the data which we've done in the first video the link is available in the box below so this is the data we have 12 trucks the arrival time recorded using a stopwatch the lean time of the trucks from the warehouse departure time the service time is the difference between the two and then the inter arrival time which is the difference between those two values and then we convert this data into seconds and to have a, a, a detailed uh, explanation of this video the link is provided in the box below as I said so what I'm gonna do is to open input analyzer which is all programs we need the rockwell software arenas input analyzer so you've got the input analyzer we click on new file and but before i have a go i'm gonna have a brief demonstration of what we're trying to do so in case we have a text document and this is data so we have uh, the time between arrival between the first and the second is five second between the second and the third track is five second between the third and the fourth track is five second then we have six 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 and six between the successive tracks I'm gonna save this go to the input analyzer so we're gonna do file data files existing all file and we need data so we have I'm gonna remind you I'm gonna open the data file we have one two three four five six seven seven data which is the value here the minimum amount is five and the largest amount is six yep so we have litogram range between 4.5 and 6.5 so we have two data five and six if we count the data we have three values are five and four values for six which we could see it here the histogram here okay so if I come here and 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 I play with the histogram I put it as four we still five and six seven and eight as you could see it here so I'm gonna close this I didn't save it I'm gonna replay with the data just for you to be familiar what we're trying to do I'm gonna do it two eight and I'm gonna remind you so five is a five second between the second truck and the first truck rival and five is that five second has passed between the third truck and the second truck and eight is that eight second has passed between the two successive trucks so i'm gonna save this and go back to the output analyzer file data using existing all file i need the data file which is this one so we have nine values as you could see it here let me go back to it because I don't remember it much so we have three value for five four value for six and two value for eight which you could see it here so this is for five and this for six this for seven which is none and this is for eight okay so this is to start setting up the data if we I'm gonna close this and 
and I'm gonna delete those data and I will come to the enter arrival and I'm gonna copy it paste it here and save it so we have input it's gonna look a little bit different than what you expected but it is the real accurate data so we're gonna come and so this is the data as it is so number of data point are 11 the minimum value is 171 which is this one the highest value is 1964 which is here and so we have the ranges of values as it is it's very 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 accurate okay the difference between what you have here is um, the difference between what we've got here and before is this it's like we work on a histogram so if you put here as 10 and if I put here this histogram as 20 and if I put here as 2000 so you can see how the data are spreading between the histogram we have so we're gonna put this back at 10 and then 5 because this does not affect the solution the histogram does not affect the solution you could select any histogram value you want so 5 we have 1 2 3 4 5 ranges all what I have to do is to use to fit the data we use to fit the data so this is the exp equation we have to use in the equation so if we play with the histogram again so we could see I'm gonna do another fit of the data so it looks different than before and so it depends on the histogram we have so all I have to do we have to copy this come to arena basic process create and paste it here paste the values here ok as an expression just paste it here ok and this one will be in second so in this way we use input analyzer expression into the create ok thank you